We're gonna set our type on fire. We're gonna create text with flames. Let's just hit the T and we're gonna create some text here. Just click onto our document and we're gonna type in the word fire. And we'll just position that down here. Any blocky font will do, it doesn't really matter exactly what font. There's plenty of there. Impact is a good one. I'm using Arial Black right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this layer. So I'm just gonna click it and drag it into the new layer icon. Now I've created a duplicate, hide the original, and we're working on the copy. Right now I can't apply any brushes or filters. Watch what happens when I choose the brush. I get the signal that says, no, you can't paint on this layer. So that's because it's a type layer and this shows the text indicator here with the little T. So what we can do is we can convert that simply by choosing the label there to the right. Right click and choose rasterize layer layer or rasterize type. It's actually rasterized layer in some earlier versions of Photoshop. So you can see there now it shows the uh, pixels and now we can paint and we can work in here. So what we want to do is give it some fiery color. So we're going to create a new gradient. We're going to choose the gradient tool from the toolbox and then to create a new gradient we want to open a gradient editor. We can do this in the options bar here by just clicking on that gradient and the gradient editor opens. We can adjust these color stops, that's how we set our gradient. These are the bottom ones. So we click on the bottom one here, notice the color is black. You can see the black there. Just click there and now we can choose red and at the other end we're going to click and we're going to choose a yellow. There we go, kind of a pale yellow. Click OK. And notice we've got that nice fiery effect. We're just going to call this one Fire. And then hit New to create a new gradient preset, which is saved in the library. Click OK. Now we want to apply this gradient to the type. What we need to do is select the type. And we can do that simply by holding down the Control key or the command on Apple. And then just click on the thumbnail there. Selects that layer choose the gradient tool and we just start from the bottom drag it to the top notice though that this it's hard to get it straight here's a little tip to get it exactly straight hold down the shift key and that constrains that to 45 degree angles allows you to get a perfect gradient now we just hit command d or control d to deselect and there we go now we've got our fire type layer selected what we're going to do now is we're going to rotate this canvas and we're going to choose image, rotate canvas, 90 degrees clockwise. That's the CWs for clockwise. There we go. And we'll just move that up. Hit the space bar, it gives us the hand tool. We can move up a little bit. And now we just want to smudge this out and there's a great filter that's going to do that. And it's under the filters. We're looking stylize wind. You'll see the wind filter here now. There's three different options. All these three options do really is just give the same effect in various intensities. Wind is the most subtle, blast is the medium one, and stagger is extremely severe as you can see there. So we want to just choose the wind option, click OK, and see how that's giving us our nice little fiery effect. Um, let's apply that again. We can just hold the Control key or Command and F for filter and that applies the previous filter. Or alternatively, we can just go up here in the menu there, choose filter, and at the very top there, you can see our keyboard shortcut, the previous filter there, and we apply it one more time. Okay, it's getting a little bit hard to see what's really happening here because it's such a light background. Let's just choose our background here, and we're gonna just select this, click on the background there, and we'll choose like a dark red. And we're just going to do foreground to background and we'll just create a little. There we go. That just makes life a little easier. We can see things better. Now we'll click back on our main layer. Now we're just going to uh, rotate this back around again. So we're just going to go image. We're going to go rotate canvas and this time we're going counterclockwise to put it back to where it was. Now you can see we're starting to get the beginnings of some kind of a fire. To really make this work though, it's time for a little bit of handwork. What we're going to do is in the toolbox, we're going to choose the smudge tool. 
that's hiding under the blur tool. It's the one with the little finger. And you can see that it works just like a brush. In fact, it does have a brush that controls it. If you hit the left bracket key, it makes it smaller. Right bracket key makes it bigger. So let's start actually with a slightly bigger one. Right now we're looking at about 30. And what we're going to do is we're just going to click on the bottom and just drag it up. And notice, and we're, we're waving this bags and forwards a little bit as we're doing this. And notice as I'm doing this, just wiggling my mouse, it's starting to create some really realistic looking fire. Now, if you happen to have a Wacom tablet, this is a lot easier with the tablet. And I have a video too that shows you how to use that tablet. But right now, we're just creating this fire. And you can see that we're just building it up there and just getting a very realistic looking flame just by smudging those little pixels there. And we can wiggle it backs and forwards for more of a subtle effect. And you can see that. And right now I'm just kind of smudging it around a little bit at the bottom. Just messing it up. Now why am I doing that? Because we're going to look at the layer here. There's a background. Remember we created that layer. What we're going to do is move that above the fire. And now you can begin to see the fire is coming out from behind the text. So let's go back down, reduce the brush size just a little bit, and then we'll just work on those flames a bit more manually. And we can just really get those, that fire just to kind of start to show a little bit around the edges there. And you see I'm just smudging that fire just to make it appear to be wrapping around that text. And just smudge it a little bit more. Always kind of dragging it up and just kind of shape those flames. As you can see, I can just kind of do this one a few times, just clicking and dragging it and see how I can really start to develop those flames. And this is very spectacular. If you spend some good time on this and just really work these flames over, you can get some very, very realistic looking fire. Let me just smudge that a little bit more. There we go. And as you can see, that fire is starting to really begin to look realistic and it's just leaping up into the air. So there's our fiery type. What I want to do though is make the edges of this fire glow a little bit. So we're just going to choose the text layer and we're going to grab a inner glow. The default color is that yellowish color. We're just going to change that to more of a red. And you can see what's happening there. Click OK and apply that. And notice now we've got that red hot fiery type. 